Welcome to our tutorial about view state. In a previous tutorial, we touched a little on view state. In this tutorial, we're going to learn more about view state. When you run a regular desktop application, usually your scenario involves one application and one user only. In this context, the view state is not really an issue on a desktop application. But when it comes to web applications, it's a totally different story. You can literally have thousands of users requesting the same page from the server at the same time. The server runs each request in just a fraction of a second. Then the server sends a response back to each client. You might be wondering how the server sorts all the browsers from where the requests come. Well, to do this, that's why ASP.NET uses what's called ViewState. View state is basically a hidden field which ASP.NET automatically inserts into the HTML that it sends back to the browser. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add information to the view state collection and then to retrieve it. Let's begin by using a label. And let's drag out a button as well. Now let's name and caption our controls appropriately. We'll call the button BTN Next. And let's change the text property to Next. Let's do the label too. We'll delete its text property and we'll call it LBL1. By the way, Controls store most of their value in the view state. Here you can see the view state property, which by default is true. If we set it to false, view state won't store information about this control. Let's go to our code page and let's add an item to view state. I'm going to select page events, load. And let's type some code. If me dot is postback, equals false, then the next line, me view state period add, and then open the parenthesis, our first argument. It'll be the key. My key, comma, one. And let's fix that typo. When the page loads for the first time, one will be added to the view state collection. My key is the key that'll be associated with this item. Now let's go modify our button, BTN next. And we'll choose a click event. Let's type some code. Dim counter as integer equals view state dot item my key. And now our next line. Counter equals counter plus one. Okay, let's fix this here. Here we retrieve the item from the view state collection and we put it in the variable counter. Next, let's type me dot view state dot add my key. Counter and the last line here LBL one dot txt equals counter colon
counter period to string. Here we've replaced the value in the view state collection with the value associated with my key. In the last line, we made the label LBL1 display the final result. Let's run our program to see how it works. Click Next. Next, the counter works. Let's bring in another browser to check it there. Right click and copy. And paste the URL here. You see that the counter here runs independently. Now, let's place the second item in the view state collection. To do this, we basically need to use a different key. Copy and paste. Key 2. We'll change this to my text. Let's copy this also. And paste key 2 here. We'll declare it as a string. And let's change the name to string also. Let's enter my string here. And let's test it out. The page loads. And we have the text, my text, which is retrieved from the view state collection. And this concludes our tutorial about view state.